I filmed a what I ate in the day video when I was a vegetarian and I am getting an overwhelming amount of views and comments on that video. About 98% of the people commenting on that video is telling me, go vegan, go vegan, you'll lose weight, you'll lose weight, you can eat as much as you want. I'm being a vegan, you can eat as many potatoes as you want and how many peas you want and just everything. And like people are like, french fries are vegan and Oreos are vegan and ugh, a lot of you really really believe that going vegan will cause me to lose weight no matter how much i eat for myself i really enjoy certain meats it really depends chicken is one of my favorites if it's like cooked the right way um i really like my meat like thoroughly thoroughly cooked and i enjoy cheese and i love milk i know that's like weird <laughs> a lot of people are like milk is made for cows and only for cows i mean you could see it as you will of course but i like milk and i like cereal and i like putting milk inside a cereal and i like drinking milk and just milk is delicious <laughs> i'm not gonna become vegan i appreciate your guys's like opinions and your guys's like you can do it you can be a vegan i appreciate all that no i can't do it i really would fail completely for a few different reasons i'm the type of person who will try something over and over again, completely fail, and it's mainly because I try it because I'm not determined to do it. If I tried to be a vegan, it wouldn't be because of me, it'd be because you guys are urging me to do so, and it's just not in my cards. I, I just don't want to be a vegan, really. One of the big things for me is like, I'm a big worry wart, and I feel like if I'm not getting the right nutrition, that I will have to turn to supplements if I was a vegan, and I'm not into taking any sort of pills. I don't like taking anything, even just Tylenol. I know it's like all in my head, but it's a lot because of my past and I don't need to get into that right now, but I don't want to take supplements. And meat has a lot of, you know, nutrient that you do need. And it's honestly the truth. Like, ugh, I do love animals and I feel bad that I'm eating animals. A big thing for me is the fact that you guys think that I will be able to lose weight eating tons and tons of potatoes is silly to me because I won't. I have binge eating disorder and that means that I could easily binge on like mashed potatoes or like fried potatoes. However I make those potatoes, I could easily sit there and eat like hella of it and then turn around and eat a lot more of something, aka Oreos because those are vegan. Um, becoming a vegan for me I wouldn't do it for weight loss reasons I'd, if I ever did do it, which I probably won't. It would be purely because I want to better the environment. I really don't like when people push onto me other diet plans or ways of living because I feel like being a vegan is a really big way of living and that's really up to someone. I don't know. I almost feel disrespected in the comments almost because so many of you are just like, go vegan, go vegan, go vegan. I admire the vegans out there and the vegetarians. I admire you guys a lot because it's a lot of hard work. I mean, it was for me when I tried being a vegetarian. I just don't want to be one. So please, you guys, stop telling me to be a vegan and stop acting like it's the only method for weight loss because it's really not. And no matter which way you slice it, like whether you're a vegan or a vegetarian or you eat meat like I do, you will only be healthy by the things that you put in your mouth. You could still be a vegan and be completely unhealthy because I have known a few vegans in my life where they were literally thinking they were super healthy, but they were like eating all this processed vegan stuff and they were eating the Oreos and certain other junk foods that were vegan. And that's, that's not a healthy like lifestyle. All right, you guys. So this girl right here is about to watch Food Inc. It is ready to rumble. So I'm literally only 16 minutes in. And um, <laughs> I'm like an idiot. And Destiny's watching it with me. She's already seen it. But um, I'm crying. Like we're just at the part where they're like showing how chickens are treated and stuff. And like <laughs> I feel like embarrassed because I'm crying. And I'm feeling like overwhelmed about it because... For a few reasons, like, one, it's, like, super sad. Like, these chickens are living things, and, like, they're, like, made to be fat. Like, they make them fat, so 
They make them have big boobs. Yeah, so we can eat our white meat that America loves. And I have to be honest, my overall thoughts are kind of like back and forth with the whole situation because it did show a lot of organic meats out there that are grass fed. And, you know, they're not, these cows and these pigs are not being given you know, horrible treatments, they're not being abused, they're not, like, getting antibiotics in them, they're, they're organic and treated right. But I thoroughly am an animal lover through and through, like, I really, really am. I understand that I eat meat and stuff. I've tried to be a vegetarian and completely failed, but seeing this kind of makes me wonder, should I just start buying organic meat or should I just stop eating meat in general? I don't want you guys to think that just because I've watched this and just because I have these strong opinions and agree with the show, really, that I'm going to stop eating meat and start just buying from Farmer's Market because it's really not possible for me right now with my income. And I know not everyone can just drop and change their lifestyle that they've been living for however you know long they've been living it. Like, for me, I've been this way for 25 years. You know, I'm eating from these companies and I'm giving them my money and it's just, it's making them continue what they're doing and it's not good. So Destiny's not here right now. Um, I'm about to watch Forks Over Knives. A lot of people are telling me to watch this and I've been really, really, really like possibly obsessed with these like vegan documentaries lately or vegetarian documentaries, just documentaries about food in general and how it's really bad to eat meat. Like, this is so intriguing to me. Like, I love these documentaries. So far, I've seen um, Vegucate, I think it was called, which was last night, and I watched Food, Inc. Today, like, right now, I'm gonna watch Forks Over Knives, and then if I have time or if I'm feeling like it, I'm gonna watch Cowspiracy. I am just getting ready for work, but I totally forgot to end the vlog last night, and I want, I want to tell you guys what I thought about the documentary I watched last night, which was Forks Over Knives. And I just want to tell you, I recommend this one to anybody out there who eats meat, who doesn't eat meat, because this one has been my favorite that I've watched because it really showed the, the bad aspects of meat. Like, meat causes cancer. Cheese causes cancer. Anything from animals, animal protein causes cancer. And it was... Ugh, mind-boggling like I literally was sitting there watching it like wow I I can't sit here and explain it to you guys you guys are gonna have to watch it like it was incredible and every single person who went on a vegan diet a plant-based diet completely lost their diseases like people with diabetes people with cancer declined radiation and chose the vegan diet instead and their cancer went away it it was freaking amazing. And if anyone out there knows me, you know that I don't like medication. You know that I'm a worry wart and I feel like I have every disease in the world, but I don't. <laughs> Hashtag hypochondriac. I would rather be a vegan than have to take any medicine ever. Just hearing the things in this documentary about cancers and the protein from animals is horrible horrible for you and you get high cholesterol from it and you get colon cancer and prostate cancer and breast cancer just everything like I don't know I need you guys to watch this it was the most amazing thing I've ever watched and I my thoughts about veganism have changed so much lately example last night um Destiny was out and she was picking something up for dinner at Walmart that we can make here and I used to get this uh, General Tso's chicken that is so good. You cook it in the oven and stuff. And I texted her and I was like, yeah, I want the General Tso's chicken. And then as soon as I sent it, like, it made my stomach hurt. And I was like, ew, no, I don't. So instead, I had her get me a veggie patty. So I had veggie patty and some white rice. Like, oh, that show has changed me, I feel like. But I have a lot of meat product in our fridge, so I don't want to waste any of it. But my point is that veganism is amazing, and I literally could cry just thinking about it right now. Several vegan documentaries later. Hello, everybody. I just want to start off this video by apologizing to everybody, especially vegans, 
who left comments on my video telling me to go vegan. And I made a whole video called, Am I Going Vegan? In that video, I was extremely foolish. I hadn't done a single drop of research. I had zero knowledge on veganism, why people are vegans, what happens in slaughterhouses, and what is in animal products. When I made the video, I was stating that I was not going vegan. I probably never would. My freaking answers were ridiculous. I said things like, I love the taste of milk, but little did I know that I am drinking pus and blood every time I drink milk and it's totally legal in the United States. I said things like, I love chicken. Little did I know, I was eating a chicken that was rolling around in its own feces with 300,000 other poor chickens. About a week ago, I absolutely adored a Five Guys cheeseburger. It is the best cheeseburger literally I've ever had in my life. But now all I can imagine is a cow dangling from its hoof, crying in agony as it's slaughtered to death. I am absolutely apologizing to every single one of you because I had no right making that video without doing my research. I did not. So my apologies through and through. And I want to say thank you so, so much for hounding me and leaving an overwhelming amount of comments telling me to go vegan because without you guys, I would have never for a milliscule second, if that's even a word, thought of doing any type of research towards veganism or towards how animals are treated. About a week ago, I watched Food Inc. For some reason, after that, I could not stop watching documentaries involving veganism and how animals are treated and what we are putting into our bodies. I have watched Forks Over Knives, Food Inc., Veducate, 101 Reasons to Be Vegan, Earthlings, and there are a few others that I just can't remember. They're all jumbled up, but they all have the same meaning. I even went out of my way to go to Barnes & Noble and I sat there and I read on more veganism. I was so intrigued after the first film that I almost became obsessed and I think I have. So this is just a warning. I will be talking a little bit about what I have learned. Obviously I can't go into grave detail, but I just wanna tell you guys a few facts about what I have learned recently because I feel like even to the meat eaters out there or the vegetarians, it's probably just a good thing to know. I'm gonna start off by talking about how animals are treated. I am one of the biggest animal lovers out there. I can honestly say now thinking about it, like I can't have a dog and a cat as a pet and then sit there and eat bacon. I can't have, you know, a fish as a pet and sit there and eat tuna. I can't do it. It's, I am being an absolute hypocrite. We are all earthlings on this planet. We are here to live, to feel, and to die of natural causes. We have no right whatsoever to kill another living thing. It is not right. It's not morally right. Like I said, there are 300,000 chickens in a small, small farming room, and they all pee and poop and peck and this and that and get diseases and die. This all happens in that small area and we are eating this. Farmers will purposely make a chicken fatter just so us Americans can get white meat because that is what we prefer. And when that happens, they get so obese that they can't walk and it's really hard for them to breathe. When a hen has chickens, if it is male, they throw them away. They grind them up and they're gone because according to us Americans, they have no use for us because we're constantly eating chicken eggs. But I have learned that eggs is nothing but a chicken period. We have grown so accustomed to eating these things that we don't take a second thought. After those hens continuously have eggs for us, they are then turned to meat. In a recent video, I said, oh, why don't I just start eating organic chicken? Because I did not do any research. The least brutal way a chicken is killed is they're put into water and electrocuted. That's not morally right. Pigs, oh my gosh, do not get me started. They're treated absolutely horribly. They are hit, they get their ears cut off, their tails cut off. To hear them squealing is probably one of the saddest things in the whole entire world. They are thrown in boiling water, they are shot in the head, they are stabbed. 
would you guys go over to someone's house and look at a pig and be like, ooh, bacon, let's go slaughter the pig ourselves? No, you wouldn't. So why is it okay that someone else does it? To get milk, a female cow is constantly pregnant for their full term life. And obviously they don't go back up with some male cow. No, the workers at the farm or at the slaughterhouse, whatever you want to call them, are constantly making them pregnant. I don't even need to go into detail on how they do that because I'm pretty sure you guys can figure it out. By making them pregnant, they are taking their child away from them. I have seen videos where a cow will mourn for their child as it's taken from them. The only reason why they are continuously pregnant is so they could give us milk. Then their child is taken so we can eat veal. Once that cow can no longer give us milk, they turn into hamburger meat. The cycle of the way they are slaughtered and handled literally gives me goosebumps and is probably the grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. You can eat a kosher hamburger all you want, but just know deep down they are being slaughtered in the exact same way as any other cow. And to get milk, they're constantly on a machine, just pumping them and pumping them. And what really just grosses me out is that we are humans. We are not supposed to be drinking another species milk. It really makes you raise an eyebrow of why are we eating animal product when we should be loving these animals, not killing them. Animal products such as chicken, pig, cow, their milk, cheese, Anything is causing high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity. It is causing cancers upon cancers. 68% of most cancer cases are from the things that we put into our body. You guys probably will not believe this if I say it. I didn't even believe it. But my question for you guys is, do you smoke cigarettes? If your answer is yes, it's probably because you're addicted or you're accustomed to it. Whatever, everyone has their own reasons. But if you say no and ask you why, there's usually one or two answers, like you don't like the way it smells, you don't like the way it makes your teeth yellow, so and so forth. But one of the biggest answers is because you don't want to die. You don't want to get cancer. Something that I've recently learned is that eating animal product daily is the equivalent of smoking 20 cigarettes a day. I repeat, 20 cigarettes a day. I know a lot of people aren't going to listen to me, a lot of people aren't going to believe anything that I'm currently saying right now, but trust me, I'm not making any of this up. The things I have learned in the last week have absolutely changed my mind and changed my opinion on the things that I put in my mouth, and I feel myself getting really emotional because I was told a story my whole life. I really was. I was told we needed protein from meats and we needed calcium from milk. I was told to treat my dog and my cat with respect, but eat the hamburger on my plate. All of it made sense because in our culture, that is what makes sense. That is what we are grown to learn, but it's not morally right. And I, I have learned that finally, it's not. If we were all vegans, disease would be lowered. We would all have more energy. We would have a more fulfilled life. We would be happier and I swear there would be more peace on this world because not only are we hurting animals that we should be loving, but we are hurting ourselves and we should be loving ourselves. I am so amazed with all the research I've done and everything I've learned and I can't preach this and I can't tell you guys to change or think about changing the way that you are in your life if I don't do it myself. I'm going to become a vegan. It's gonna be a challenge because trust me, there are animal products that I like, but it's the taste. And the taste is nowhere near as the pleasure that I can get from saving an animal. Whether I only save three my whole life from no longer eating animal product, at least I'm saving one. So for health, and environment and ethic reasons, I'm here to say I'm going to become a vegan and I will take you guys along the journey as it goes and I hope it goes okay. Four to six days later. Someone said she was only a vegan for four days. She already is back to eating crap like she was before. No, I was a vegan for six days actually. And the process of being a vegan is so freaking hard and I went vegan over 
night. A lot of people don't do that, honestly. A lot of vegans have messaged me, private messaged me, commented and said this is a process and how they were vegetarian for like 13 years. Some were like vegetarian for six years. Some were a vegetarian their whole life since they were born. And then they switch to veganism and they're like, this is a process and you will make so many mistakes. Might even go weeks with eating meat and then try being a vegan again. And something about being a vegan is it's really just about limiting the harm done to animals. It's not about being perfect. Vegans are not perfect. And I'm getting just a tremendous amount of like people saying, well, you take medicine so you're not a true vegan. Like... I'm sorry, but if I'm on my deathbed, yes, I will take medicine. It's not about being perfect. About It's about trying to spread awareness about the harm that is done to animals. I don't really know what else to tell you guys about that. Currently, right now, I am eating meat today, probably. I haven't eaten a single ounce of anything. I'll probably eat a little bit of meat today. It's been extremely hard. Being a vegan, oh my god, makes you feel incredible. Like... It's almost like it's its own medicine in itself. It's really crazy. I felt so good. And then two mornings ago, I woke up crying for some reason. Just, I don't know what it was. I, I did have a really bad dream. And I woke up crying. I'm just like, oh my God, I don't know if I could do this, blah, blah, blah. And I happened to eat cheese that day. So it's going to be a process. I'm done calling myself a vegan because it's not... It's not fair, I guess, but trust me, I still eat not as much meat, not as much uh, animal product, and I will continue spreading awareness for everyone out there. I don't think it's fair to tell me that I'm eating the same crap because you don't see what I'm eating. I don't, like, really, I show you just bits and pieces. I'm still trying to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, rice and beans. I don't want anyone to be like, ha ha, she failed, blah, blah, blah. It's not about failing. I am trying so hard to figure out what's best for me. I really do just want to eat less meat. <laughs> Whether that's like a vegetarian thing, I don't know. I'm really tired of the labels. I understand that I announced that I was a vegan a couple weeks ago, but I need you guys to know that this is a freaking long process and there's nothing more I can really say about that.